converting from Microsoft Money. If you're starting home accounts for the first time, you'll go through the setup wizard. We can also invoke that by clicking on File, New. Either way, you will end up in the same position. You can have many sets of accounts with home accounts. So let's click on Next. The first thing to do is to give the file a name. Next, where you want it saved. Next, name your bank accounts. You can add or remove them here. For example, we can select deposit accounts. Click on the delete button here to remove it. We could add a new one here if we wanted to add another bank account. All of this can be re-added and structured later on, so don't worry too much about it. Next, credit cards. Number of decimal places. This is a multi-currency application. So, for example, if you were using it in Oman, there they have three decimal places, or Japan, zero. So, set this according to your base currency, which for most countries is two decimal places. The final step is import existing data. If you want to start a new file from scratch, completely empty, make sure this is not ticked. However, if, as in this video is going to show, we want to create a file from uh, a Microsoft Money set of data, click on Yes. Now Next, it'll ask you to finish the wizard. And now we're straight in to the import existing data wizard. Select the type of file you want to create in this case Microsoft Money. Now click on Next. This is a very important page. It tells you precisely how to export your data from Microsoft Money in order to be able to import it into home accounts. Please do read this data, it's important. When you're happy with that and you've saved the relevant files from Microsoft Money to somewhere on your hard disk, click Next. And now you need to navigate to where those files are. We have them here. We're going to import multiple files. To do that, select the top file, click, hold down the shift key, select the bottom file. That will select all of the files in one go. You can also use the control click instead to just select certain files. When you're happy, click on import. In this next stage, we need to map the files in your old accounts into the new home account structure. We need to map each account in turn. Whilst this does take some time, remember you only need to do this once. There are three ways of mapping an account. First of all, if you know there's a match already, you can just type the name and it'll find it. Secondly, and let's look at the second one here, credit card. I happen to know that uh, that's one of the default accounts. What we can do is we can select credit card on the right and drag it into the box here. The third way is to select your old account here and drag it into the relevant group in the structure. So there's three ways of mapping an account. If it already exists, start typing its name. Or you can drag it from the selection on the right into the mapping. Or you can take your old account name here and drag it in to the tree structure on the right. Now whilst I populate the rest of these accounts, let's take a short break. Okay, we've uh, nearly filled all of these in, the last few. This highlights uh, something else. You'll see here there is a category called Utilities, just under Travel here, but it's greyed out. That means that this is not draggable. If you try to drag it, you'll see you get an undraggable thing. Be careful because it's quite possible to select the account just above it when you're doing this, so make sure you don't drag that. As it happens in this default account, we already have a group called Utilities, so all we need to do is 
put electricity straight in there. It's already there. We can just drag it from here and away you go. Now if there's not a group or category in the right hand side that you have in the left one, you could just go and create that. To do this, click on the Add Edit Accounts dialog here and watch the video on how you use this, but it's very simple. For example, if we choose Expenses and we want to add a new group, which is called a category, just click on Add Group and follow that. So we've got the last two to do here. Gas, let's put gas in there, and water. Okay, so that's done. Click on Next. Okay, in this screen we're looking at the payees that it's found in your money file. Let's put them all in there, which is terrific. If any of these uh, don't make any sense to you, for whatever reason, you can just untick the import button on the left. For example, there was one payee name in this particular file that actually didn't have a name at all, so I've unticked that. Um, there's one here, transfer money, but well, this is hardly a payee, but uh, you know that's the way uh, it was treated in um, money, so I'm just going to turn that one off as well. Uh, the rest look okay, water, electricity, gas, these are all irrelevant. I've got accounts for all of these. So anything you have an account for, you do not need a payee. Um, a lot of these like that. It's worth just going through and only having those that make sense. For example, holidays is not a payee. Uh, incidentally, this um, file I'm using is uh, a Microsoft Money uh, example file that ships with that product. So when you're happy, click on Next and it will now generate a preview of the data. This may take a little while, it depends how big your file is. So I shall let this uh, go in the background and come back in a, a few minutes when it's done. Right, well uh, that took a, a little while. As I say, um, if, uh, if you have um, quite a lot of data, you must let this finish. Just leave it um, and uh, have a, make yourself a cup of tea or something. Right, here's the preview. Um, there's lots of transactions here. Those that are in a orange or red colored background are ones where there's an error. Um, they may have other errors in them. If you put your mouse pointer over them, you will see what the error is. In this case, there's some missing amounts. The data that is imported in here is only as good as uh, its source, of course. Um, so what you can now do is you can now edit this data in place if you want. In fact, you can go through and edit anything if you're not quite happy with it. You can even delete uh, entries you think uh, you don't want. Um, when you're happy with that, click on the Done button. That will now add all of these transactions into your file. Again, that may take a little while. So, we'll come back again when that's finished. Okay, here we are. Transactions have been imported. Let's have a look at the All Transactions view here. There they all are. And that's it, you're done. So, the final thing to do is to look at your accounts click on this button here to expand the whole tree of accounts. It's from here we can go and edit these accounts and move accounts around etc if it's not quite as we expected. Only you will know the way that you'd organize your categories and subcategories but it's simple enough. Click on the edit button it opens the account manager and in here you can drag and move um, accounts up and down and make sure it's okay. Remember you're only doing this the once and when it's done it's done. There's a whole video available on the account manager uh, please watch that to see how to do it. <laughs>